I would like you guys to loosen up. <laughs> As people. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, but uh, in, a, in a drawing way, because um, what I always find is that everybody is like, I'm going to move the grapes. Everybody wants their objects to be like perfect, yeah, which is natural and fine, but um, you can't start perfect. So like, if I start with the contour of the grapes and I start drawing individual grapes, even if I'm drawing through them, like it winds up being this sort of dead thing by the end. Do you know what I mean? So I could go through like that, and that's that's one approach. Um, but I don't know. It's not really like there's no energy to it, you know. There's no life to the grapes. You're drawing dead grapes in a dead way, um, and this is why drawing from photographs tend to be terrible, on it almost universally. They're just dead drawings that look like photographs. So like, just take the photograph, you know, and show me the photograph. Don't just like do a black and white photograph and then render it and then say how awesome I am for being able to copy a photograph. Like that's that's dumb. It's already 2D. Just leave it. So if you want to draw from photographs or if you just want to draw, you need to figure out where the energy of something is. You know. So if it's in these like unliving grapes, it's in like the stalks and the things that make them grow. So you kind of treat them as bunches, and you can be a little more loose with where things are, right? So your first layers of stuff can be very, like, energetic. Um, and it works better standing up because you're more connected to the ground. Um, you know, for the, for the light bulb, even though it's an inorganic object back there, I can just find the axis and then start doing these, these spirally sort of things. You know, these can be my initial layers. And that energetic setup will feed into every layer beyond here as I refine, right? You know, with a bottle, you know, I have the, the straight up and down bit of bottle. But I want to like somehow translate the bottle's energy that it has. There's something hippie-ishly correct about the union of matter and energy that you can bring into drawing. And it looks bottle-ish, and that's what you want on on layer one, you know. And if your if your first layer doesn't have any energy to it, your last layer won't either. Like you can't add energy unless you start with it. Do you know what I mean? So even if you add refinements after that, you know, it, you're refining on top of an energetic drawing. And you can refine in an energetic way too, sort of through the object even. Bringing these refinements all the way to the end. So without getting to the contour, you can continually keep on refining. Find where the light and shadow edges. Right? And then each layer you go over, you refine just a little bit more. And you can control your you can control your energy slightly each time, right? You know, so by the end you want to go back through and decide where this perfect contour line is, right? Separating it from the value in the background. Working on symmetry, things like that. Does this make sense? So there's being loose, and there's being loose in a productive way. Like, you can take this too far, right? Like, you can be loose and try to draw something and it just not work out at all, which is a distinct possibility and kind of a worry. 
Um, in the same way that this becomes dead if you do, if you start drawing the contours of each grape individually and accumulating. Like if you go way too loose, it just becomes like a mess. So you want it to be loose, but you want to understand like where your marks are going, right? So if I go back to this whole grape thing and I try to draw the grapes and I just go like this, like that's not really that productive because it has nothing to do with the grapes except for a vague amoeba resemblance, right? Like it, you have to be loose about, but specifically loose, right? So this, yes, the grapes do go in this sort of like contouring arc form. But really this would be a better structure to build grapes off of because I can now go in and begin to add in like the energy of each individual grape. <coughs> Adding in a grape leaf or something too, should I want. Is that clear? I know this is kind of a hippie-ish concept, like, but it, and, but it, you know, you have to have some amount of like feel and some amount of energy, and the best way to do it is on an easel, standing up. So today, stand up, use an easel, and don't, you know, Jill, of course, <laughs> I have to point you out because you're the perfect example. You know, start out drawing here, right, and then ten minutes later, you're up here, like, <laughs> doing this, you know. All the time, yeah. constantly. You don't think about it. Yeah. So if you're doing, if you find yourself doing that, I'll put a stool in front of you, and then you'll be doing this. You know, mm -hmm. like by the end, yeah. right? Yeah. The whole time. So it's like a physical. Uh, the physical setup is drawing with a nice curve to your arm, at basically basically arms arms length. You know, using your your feet and your body to actually draw. And this is the way that you. This is the way that you can actually draw like full straightish lines, you know, if you want. You can draw elegant arcs, you know. You can draw S-curves, and you can draw people pretty easily like this, and pull out the elegance of line. And I, and I use this, this particular hand grip, right, for posterity, like that. Um, so, and you can see my knuckles are getting black, right, because what I'm doing is I'm feeling, I'm feeling the paper and the pressure with my knuckles because they're very sensitive. Right, and I and I can just use my I can use my pinky to increase pressure, right? So I can do light lines, and if I want to increase pressure, I just use my pinky as like the end of a lever and increase the pressure of the line to get line weight if I want. Right, but I have that tactile feel of my hand running across the paper, you know, which is fine. It's the same way you would play guitar. You know, you're feeling the strings with your knuckles. So in, it, it makes abstract sort of elegance underlying your, your drawings very, very easy to do it that way. Make sense? So part of it is physical setup, part of it is like sort of your approach to it. Questions for the day? So while we're working on the value in the poster and the rendering, remember that this is the understructure on which that is built. So when you get to the value, the value has to enforce that energy that you put into it.